Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. Listen to this wonderful parable found in Luke chapter 12, 35 to 40. It says, Be dressed and ready for service, your lamps burning like men waiting for the master to return from the wedding banquet. So when he comes and knocks, they will immediately open the door to him, and it will be good for those servants, whose master finds them watching when he comes. I tell you the truth. He will dress himself to serve, and will have them recline at the table, and will come and wait on them. It will be good for those servants whose masters find them ready, even if he comes a second or third time or at the watch of the night. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known what hour the thief was coming, he would not let his house be broken into. So you must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. This whole parable has to do with being ready for the Lord Jesus Christ and his coming. Jesus made it very clear in Matthew chapter 24 that no man will know the day or the hour. Now I know over the years you've had men come up and say, I know the day and the hour that Jesus Christ is coming up. Folks, back in 1988, they said 88 reasons why that Jesus Christ could come in 1988. And then 2015 and 2014, they had the blood moons and all the fiasco that that turned out to be. No one knows the day or the hour. But we need to live every day as if we are ready. You see, the parable says that when the master comes home, will he find his servants ready, even if he comes back in the third or fourth hour of the watch of the night? That means in the middle of the night. Will they be ready? Will you be ready? Because you don't know when Jesus Christ is coming back. That means that you should live your life in such a manner that when Jesus Christ comes back, you'll say, Oh, it's you. I was expecting you to come. Ruth Graham Lotz, I love this lady. She lives her life in such a manner that she uh, she's ready for Jesus Christ coming. She says, I live my life as if this is the last five minutes on the planet. I thought, what a great way to live. Knowing that every moment, this could be the moment that Jesus Christ could come back. Jesus is telling us that his, his coming is imminent. Now, not that long ago, some officials within the Catholic Church told the people of the Catholic Church, you know, well, maybe because Jesus hasn't come back in the last 2,000 years, maybe you should just get on with life. Well, I don't care what church official tells you. What you need to do is live your life ready. Because Jesus Christ, His coming is imminent. Now, you need to understand something. We need to live our lives as if this was the last day on the planet. You say, why? Because it could be. Not that long ago, I had the privilege of knowing uh, my brother-in-law. My brother-in-law, uh, his name is Dave. And uh, actually, the truth of the matter is the day this is the day after we put him in the ground. Well, I actually had a memorial service for him. And um, interesting fact about that was that Dave lived ready. My last conversation with him was, Dave, are you ready? He says, well, he says, if the Lord, uh, he says, I want to go home. And uh, I said, let's pray along that lines. And you know what? The Lord did take him home. But he was ready because he understood the coming of the Lord was imminent and that Jesus could come for him. And Jesus did come for him. It can either be through the portal of death or through the portal of rapture. But the reality is, you must live ready. Be ready, my folks. Be ready, my friends, when it comes to this one thing. Because Jesus says the, man will come, the, the Son of Man will come at an hour when you least expect him. You might be out there having dinner, and you're having a great time with your family, and all of a sudden, poof, you're there. Or you go out and you walk and all of a sudden have a heart attack or something happens. You need to live ready. You need to be ready. That's what this parable is all about. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.